When you're playing, there has to be a simplicity about what you're doing. You know, the work you do on the range is to train and prepare yourself so that when you go to the course, you can have some simple communication between you and yourself in order to get you to play the golf that you want to play. When I talk about stillness, that's the trigger. You know, I've developed this technique. I am very familiar with this technique, not only for myself, but its influence on you. And it's truly stillness that's the golden ticket. I could have a terrible setup position. This is a weak setup position. My body's open. But if I hold my body still, I can at least hit a weak, ugly cut. To be able to do that over and over again just requires that I dedicate to this one single-minded focus on stillness. So watch me again. Bad setup position, stay still, and I'm gonna hit, you know, it's hard to control because the body's open and the arms are cutting across you, but you're gonna hit some sort of a weak cut from it. The important part is the weak cut happens every time. Well, that's something you could play with. Now what we do, is far better than that. When we set closed, the shot that we get to hit is of the highest quality, but it still requires that you focus on stillness during the swing. Now, in order to get there, you gotta do your training on the range. The setup position and the swing path drill have to be a piece of cake for you. I'm gonna set up closed here. I'm gonna trust in stillness. I'm gonna make sure that during the swing, I really keep my weight planted here on the lead foot and find out what happens. What you're going to see is you're going to hit really high quality golf shots. And very quickly, you'll start to appreciate how simple the swing thought is because that makes it easy to repeat. Get close, keep that weight on that front foot, and just keep hitting those solid tight draws over and over again. Now, as you continue to improve where stillness is your guide and stillness is your focus, it will start to become instinctual. I don't stay still because I have to tell myself to. I stay still because that's the best way to advance the ball. I know this in my heart. So in everything I do, I'm motivated to keep my weight anchored ahead of the ball. I'm motivated to keep my chest closed through impact. Well, in order to get there, you have to take that initial leap of faith where you just set up, you let go of the movements. I'm gonna move my arms poorly here, but I'm gonna let go of the movements it's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? But I'm going to stay still. And the shot is near as good as what I do when I make a more dynamic and anatomically sound swing. It all comes from stillness. So set still, keep it simple. And trust, trust in stillness. That's our trigger.